Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Han. Uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and check out uh, Kevin's Miata. Uh, this is the the Spirit Road Miata. It's, it's, it's your it's your company's demo car, right? Yes. Yeah. So we're gonna take the company's demo car out. We're gonna get some revs. We're gonna get some awesome sound clips. We're gonna get some driving sound clips. We're gonna get some driving footage, and also um, uh, Kevin will tell us a little bit more about the car. And also when I drive it, I'll give you guys my driving impression and um, yeah, let's get right into the video guys. Under the speed limit, okay, guys. Under the speed limit, okay. Somewhat. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kevin, uh, how did you pick up the car, or where'd you, where where did you find the car from? Tell us a little bit. This was maybe a good two years ago. Uh, I spent about six months looking for a good example, and I found one out in Bakersfield. Uh, it was a good, maybe almost like a two-hour drive. Uh, strike the deal with the seller it's an older fellow and uh, the agreement was basically they would drop off the car to me the next day and uh, they followed through okay cool so you're just like scouring Craigslist um, everything forums, forums everything you can think of right, right, right most okay. of the ones out there were pretty beat up uh, molested you know worn uh, some of them, the uh, odometer was also dialed back. Oh, so okay, yeah, yeah. There some really beat up examples out there, and when I saw this one, I just had to have it. So, yeah. From there, it just kind of snowballed, you know? Yeah. Like all things. Yo, bro. I don't even know if you can hear us talking, <laughs> but because it's so loud outside, so uh, if this doesn't make it to the video, that's okay, guys. We'll, we'll talk a little bit more when we get to a stop or something. Enjoy the sound. Yeah, we just, uh, I got the sound recorder hooked up. And um, you know what? I think we're gonna pull over and we're gonna switch it over to the exhaust. So the exhaust Let's sounds pretty amazing too with the cams. Um, so you can find the spot. We'll, uh, we'll pull over and then I'll put the mic on the back of the car so that you guys can get some uh, sound clips of how this, this beast, this, this engine, this. users this just watch out because I'm about to switch it over to the uh, exhaust and you guys get a sound clip of the exhaust too you'll kind of get that uh, that lumpy idle because we have some uh, we have some what a set of cams on here too some Maruha 264s okay on both ends uh, 10 millimeter lift you got the whole Maruha solid lifters uh, Mazda valve springs uh, Jerry built racing port and polish head uh, total racing pistons 11 to 1 compression with WPC treatment Eagle rods, uh, the ACL race bearings, foundry engineering oil pump, the oil pump apple. Oh man! 
Maruha carbon clutch, lightweight flywheel, the whole works. The whole works, man. Yeah, guys, so we're gonna get to some, some cinematics and we'll check out the outside of the car. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch it over so that we can get some sound clips of the, of the exhaust. Sounds good. Yeah, let's pull over. Pistons with slotted rotors in the front, uh, steel braided lines, then you got stop tech, slotted rotors in the back, also with the uh, matching steel braided lines, okay. some uh, street pads. Street pads, yeah, the, the pedal feels just, it, it feels very firm. I mean, once you hit it, it just, you can feel the braking pressure applied already. It's just, man, 
everything about this car it's it's an older car but it's that analogness of of the car it just it just feels so good versus like you know a lot of these a lot of these newer cars where everything's electronic controlled you know yeah. you got stability control traction control all that stuff um i guess kevin how do you feel about like these modern cars versus the older cars like you had the newer miata too right and you had this older miata correct um like just tell me tell me how you felt about like having those two cars so uh having newer cars i mean they have their power right uh very comfortable very compliant you know most of the new cars yeah but they're just not like the old stuff where it's just kind of rough and raw right you, you feel more connected you know everything's all mechanical you know everything's loud crazy a lot of clicking clanking cranking all kind of crap right so yeah. but we grew up with that kind of stuff so i feel more connected with the old school cars yeah i, I think that's everyone like you get into a modern car and then you get into like an older car like this and it's just two different worlds and i mean you fall in love with driving all over again because it's just that, that connectedness and the directness of the car can't describe it buddy no can't words describe it man There's no words i can describe it this car is